Here is the sales history data set that we created earlier. I'm just going to open this data set. So as you know, this particular data set is based on the asset schema. In the asset schema, in addition to sales, I also have a cost table, right? Um, and I like to do some analysis based on costs and uh, sales, right? To do that, uh, one quick way to do that is uh, is to go back to sales history and duplicate this data set. So I got a copy of um, sales history. I'm going to open the duplicated data set okay? and I'm going to bring in the cost table. So cost table itself has no relationship with customers, countries and supplementary you know, demographics. So I'm just going to take these table, three tables off. And as of right now it's joined to sales. So I'm going to take sales off as well. So um, bring cost to leftmost table is easier. So products and times. So now we have a data set for let's just say cost DS and save it. And the data set is saved. So we have a cost data set and a sales history. Let's say you know we want to do an analysis that spans these two data sets. Just like today, you can create a blending between these two data sets. I'm just going to open sales history. In a project okay and I'm going to add a data set and that's cost DS if I go to the data here there are two data sets sales history and cost DS they are joined on uh, you know 30 columns matching columns and I go to visualize and let's just say I go to sales history and let's just say I pick products product category and sales amount sold create best visualization and then you can also add let's just say just going to make it a table for comparison for this particular purpose over top and from cost I want to say let's say unit cost All right so um, as you can see product category we got it from sales history data set and amount sold is coming from sales history as well and this unit cost column is coming from the second the second multi table data set that we just created so you can, you can still do you know blending works as is today with you know with single table data sets and with this particular feature both of these can be uh, multi table data sets and blending still applies so if you have to go to edit the data set as we saw earlier it opens a new tab click on it so both these data sets are multi-table data sets.